Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to introduce you to my father. My father is so loving. He is, he's so thoughtful. He's so patient. I mean, I have really given him a run for his money. And I am just so shocked that he never gave up on me. Now, I had two fathers. And the comical part is they both had that in common. They both were so loving and so caring. Now, I know some of you haven't had any, but I just got to brag on my second one. Because my first father is with my second father. He's with the Lord. And my second father, the main thing I want to share with you is how I want you to know what it's like to sit on your father's lap, lay your head on his, on his chest, on his bosom, so to speak, and listen to the, the heartbeat. You hear that? Dum, 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 dum. Now, when I listen to my earthly father's heartbeat, I could really hear it going. But you know how you hear your heavenly father's heartbeat? You ask him to show you what's important to him. You open your Bible and read his word and get to see his heart. Understand his nature, his grace, his kindness, his patience. As you get to know him, you not only fall in love with him, but you fear him as well. Because you know, homie don't play. But he will stay and stick it through to the end with you, as long as you're not playing him for a fool. And he knows. Even before you know, he knows. I ask you to take a moment and say to him, if you're really real, if, if you are the real father that Pat says you are on Pat's two cents and all that stuff she says about you, I'm still not sure. So would you help me believe in you? Would you start showing me along the way? Don't let me wait too late. But help me to believe in you. Because life has happened in so many ways for me. I'm really having a hard time doing that. I'm having a hard time really wrapping my head around a loving God. Being a real father to me when I never had a father. Or when my father divorced my mother and left the family. Whatever your case may be. Or when my father molested me. Some of you can't wrap your head around God as a father. Because your father molested you. Boy or girl. Your father molested you. So it's hard for you to think of putting your trust. Putting all your eggs in his basket. Because all your eggs in your father's basket got broken. Let me tell you, God will not break you down. God is not out to destroy you. God knows what you've been through. It warms his heart so much to shower you with his love, to breathe new life into you, to remove the scars and the, and the, and the mental anguish and the anxiety and the fears and the, and the, the, the self-hatred, the, the, the shame, the, oh my goodness, if you only, if I could just open up your mind and put a picture there so you could really see how I feel and how I have felt and what I've experienced just by giving God that one try, that one try I gave him, stuck for the rest of my life. And I'm stuck on him. If you just, just ask him, Lord, just give me a chance. Just, just help me understand who you really are. Help me, help me give my heart to you. I, I can't quite take the leap. I'm too scared to jump. I'm scared I'm going to get hurt again. 
God understands that more than you do. And God will meet you at your level. Hmm? I'm feeling this. See, we don't know how in tune to our needs God really is. But God is so connected to you even when you are disengaged from him he is so connected to you he knows what has what has broken you down he knows where the pain comes from he, <clears throat> he knows why you have difficulty turning to him based on that just try taking my word for it. Even if you got to say it like, you know, I heard what Pat said and I'm, I'm not quite sure I buy into it, but um, I, I, I'm kind of tired. So would you kind of help me out here? Just ask for something. And while you're going through your doubts, pray about your doubts. And I ask God to help your unbelief. Ask God to meet you where you really need him. Where nobody else can help you. Where nobody else can touch that hole in your soul. Nobody can scratch that itch, those needs that nobody else could meet. Or that nobody else would meet. Or even care to meet. Ask God to come in those dark areas. Well, you don't want things you don't want to talk about. You don't want to think about. You don't want to reflect on. Ask God to go there. I guarantee you, if you really ask God, if you really want him to come in and make a difference, he will. Absolutely will. Because he wants it more than you. Ask him. Talk to him. Be real. Pour your heart out to him. And see what he will do. You know I'm available for counseling. I'm also available for questions. Call me. God bless you.